Hey Aries, how's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time stopping in, checking my channel out, or if you've been, um, the title caught your eye, welcome. I am Amy, this is Truly Divine's channel. If you are returning, welcome back. So Aries, you guys are up 16th to the 30th of August. I can't believe we're already here. It feels like Summer just, like, got out. Now, like, the kids are going back to school. Not complaining. Um, but, yeah, summer went, it's like, summer went crazy. But I hope you guys are, like, I hope you guys had a fantastic, fantastic summer, if I could even speak. All right. So let's just get into your reading, guys. So two Oracle cards came up. As usual, you guys know the drill for those who have been watching me. All right. The first one says the Angel of Serenity. Serenity is part of my life. I live with serenity each moment that life brings. Serenity brings a natural flow to every circumstance and movement and inspires us to relate and savor everything. Knowing that nothing is permanent, the serenity comes from the soul, that steady center that nourishes us and helps us understand the good and the bad moments of life do not last and are part of our spiritual growth. So have some serenity for the second half of August, guys. And the angel of spontan spontaneous. I choose to be spontaneous in my interactions with life. When we free ourselves from limited beliefs and values, the spiritual energy flows through us naturally. Without the inhibitions that imprison our minds and hearts, we developed an inability to tune into the essence within people and things and dis dissipate the fear and emotions that block us from being spontaneous. The precious of spontaneity is something present in nature and flows as a gift of love. Interesting. Look how small these angel cards are. Seriously. Like, they're freaking so cute. And they got, like, little, like, angel messages. And I just like it. It's really cute. I always take out this deck when I feel like the angels want to deliver a message. So, for whatever reason, the angels wanted to come out for August for the end. So, they came out. Anyways, guys. Looking at your reading. So, I pulled ten cards. Um, as that's how I do it. I don't necessarily feel like it's a bad reading at all. I feel like you guys are definitely going to be going through some stuff. I feel like you guys definitely have to be careful um, in regards to the second half of August. Um, but yeah, like, let's just get into the reading. I don't want to spoil it. All right, so the first card that came out for you guys is the Five of Swords, all right? So the Five of Swords talks about you guys needing to be ready to admit your wrongs. That's the first message I heard when it came up. By this, I mean you're going to come into a confrontation with someone. You're going to come into a fight with someone. I feel like what Spirit's kind of coming and saying is that, you know what, you might just win this fight. You might just win this war. You might just win this battle. But... They're really drawing me into, so I feel like this possibly could be not you, the one standing tall, the one standing fierce, like, ha, 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 I won this battle kind of attitude. And the person that you defeated, I feel like you're really close to this person. I don't feel like it's someone that you don't know. I feel like it's going to be someone you know, a friend or family, relationship person. But it's going to be such a type of argument or conflict where this person's going to walk away from you being really upset, really conflicted, it's going to cause the situation, as I call it, bad blood. So that's what I'm saying. I feel like really be cautious at how you're reacting towards other people. I mean, I'm not saying let people walk all over you. Not at all. I'm not saying don't have a backbone. I mean, if someone deserves something, then yeah, give it to them. Um, but remember that just because someone reacts in the way, like not reacts. Remember that when someone has that type of action, you don't have to have that action back because this situation, this conflict, this fight that you guys are going to get in, because the five of wands is also up here too, guys. So there is going to be some type of conflict. There's going to be some type of fight. There's going to be a falling out between you, to, between you two. And you know what, what I'm hearing is that, this fight, this conflict, this battle that you're going to enter, it's going to cost you trust. You're going to lose trust in this person. They're going to lose trust in you. Could be years of friendship down the drain. And you've got to ask yourself, was it even worth it? I know you guys might not understand this right now. You might have to come back to this at the end of August. But it's something about 
you're going to get into conflict with someone. And I feel like, you know, with the five of swords and the five of wands coming up, this is either like five, five years, five months, or with the five and the five, it's 10. So it's like 10 months or 10 years or something. I don't know why they're dragging me into the numbers like that, but that that's what it is, guys. It, it's, it's a conflict or a fight or a battle. And it's like, you both want to win, but for whatever reason you win and this other person is walking away. And now it's like, you feel different about it. They feel different about it. And now it's like the friendship situation is, is at an end. Like you both just can't trust each other. And I feel like on the flip side of that, what spirit is kind of saying is that, you know, again, what I was saying, if, if this person deserves it, then give it to them because you should never let anyone overstep your boundaries. You should not let anyone make you feel powerless as a person. But there comes a point where you have to ask yourself, you know, am I fighting for something that's worth it? Am I fighting for what I believe in? Because if I'm, I'm fighting just to fight or I'm fighting to be bored, that's completely different than actually going within yourself, guys, and, and really fighting for what you believe in. Because this is going to cause you guys to have a wall up. After this altercation, I'll call it, you're going to be in defense mode because you're going to be questioning everyone else that comes around you. And you know what, guys, this might even happen at the beginning of August. I don't, I think your reading at the beginning of August wasn't that bad, but no, you could just be going through this right now. But again, after this is all said and done, you're going to be feeling like you have no emotions. You're not going to be feeling really good about yourself. You're going to be feeling powerless. You're going to be blah. You're going to be overthinking, you know, did I make the right decision? Did I honestly do do what I thought was like, you may at the time thought what you were doing was right. But I feel like in time, you're going to kind of sit there and dwell, you know, you're going to miss this person, they're going to miss you. With the four of cups, the other message that I'm coming up is that, you know, maybe there's a third party situation in which there was you, someone else and someone else and you were dating this person and this person left you for another person. And now it's kind of, you're in this point in, or in this place where you're like, I'm just so sick of being in relationships. I'm so sick of being cheated on. I'm so sick of being in third party situations. And it's like, you're dwelling on what you've lost because you can see that she's dwelling. You can see she's overthinking, but she's not seeing that spirit still has an offer for her. She's not, she's not seeing it. So that's kind of what spirit's coming through is saying, you know, if you're in that type of situation, Aries, it's about realizing that this had to happen, but spirit's going to bring you something better in, you know, let this person go because you don't want someone around you that is not committed to you. No, not only are they taking your time, but they're sucking whatever energy you do have that you could be giving to someone else, you know, and with the king of cups and the king of swords coming up. This is talking about communication. There's no movement. There's absolutely no movement. It's like you're not budging. They're not budging. You both are waiting on communication from one another. You could be dealing with Aries. You could be dealing with a, a, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or you could also be dealing with cups. Water, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, All right? But this could also be with the, the lack of communication and the no movement is when you find out that this person did you dirty and you walked away because you're like, you know what? I'm not dealing with this anymore. I'm leaving. And so you left. And I feel like maybe they didn't actually believe you're going to leave. But you left. And they're pondering. They're like, hmm, what should I do? Should I reach out to them? Should I apologize? And you're kind of sitting there like, just holding that cup really tight. They're holding the sword, but you're holding the cup. So it's like a battle of who's going to break this silence right now. I feel like spirit saying, 
Use this time wisely. Use this time to really invest in yourself. Use this time to manifest because we have a magician coming up. So everything that you could possibly want right now is at your fingertips, but you need to move forward. Don't go back. If you need to take a break, hermit's coming up. Retreat, find your light, find your inner voice. When all else fails, the answers are always going to be within you. This is trusting your intuition, trusting your gut. What's meant to be will be for you. Because the lovers is coming up as well. So this tells me that you could be dealing with a life partner. You could be dealing with a soulmate. There's connections. But you have a choice. Do I stay and put up with something like that? Or do I go and find something better? Something that I know is going to be committed, Aries. You need to be clear about your choices and clear about your values and your wants and your desires because no one deserves to be in a third party situation. And when I say third party, it does not necessarily mean that they're cheating on you. They could actually be busy with work. But in this case, I don't see that they're too busy um, for work. I don't see work being in this at all. I think it was more of they thought the grass was greener on the other side and it turns out that it's not as most cases. But I feel like now you're in this place where when you move away from all of that and you go into that hermit mode and you find out what you want and you take that break and you look within yourself, princess of swords, you take your power back. You feel finally this feeling of freedom. You, you finally feel like, wait a minute, I'm on a different light. I'm on a different vibe. Like I feel different and I feel confident. I feel like I know what I want. I am getting a fresh viewpoint on something. You ended something, but something better is coming through. This is new chances, guys, new chances that love, relationships, jobs, but you ended something. And when you ended something, you made room for something better to come through. All right. So Oracle cards, you guys got three, so I'm going to read them for you. First one says Archangel Raphael. I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. I am with you because I am the archangel of healing. I am helping you heal your own body as well as the physical bodies of others. I surround physical elements with my healing energy of emerald green light, and this energy is absorbed where it's needed. I speak to healers through their thoughts and feelings. I help you to discern in this way if your life purpose is to be a healer, I can help you to know which areas of healing to study and then assist with all the aspects of your healing career. Call upon me whenever you need such help and know that I will be with you in an instant. The second card that came up says Astera. Ash, Ash, you deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise. So someone needs to hear this. In the past, you have settled for less than you wanted. But no more. I am here to raise your standards. I am also here to show you that you need not suffer in any way. It isn't selfish to desire a better life. The more that you receive, the more you are able to give to others. When you allow us to give to you, you're also supplied with all of the necessary tools for your life purpose. You also inspire others when you show that their spiritual path gives you all the support you could ever need. God and the angels want you to enjoy your life. Happiness is a holy part of your divine mission. Whatever we can do to bring joy and peace into your life, please ask. We have noticed a reluctance on your part to ask for help. Perhaps you have felt that you didn't deserve good or that you would not you would be taking away from someone else if you received our help. Yet, God only knows abundance and humans are the only ones who believe in scared city. This card is a reminder that God and the angels can only intervene if you request our help. That's kind of beautiful. I'm hoping that helps someone because that's a really beautiful message. Okay, third card, guys, that came in says Vanessa. To make your decision, ask yourself which brings me closer to my divine purpose and which way takes me away from it. Should I go this way or that way? You wonder. One day you're sure of your decision. The next day you're questioning it, questioning it again. This indecision will be healed by focusing on your divine life purpose. Even if you aren't sure of your purpose exact nature, you do know that involves bringing peace to yourself and others. Based on this foundation, then which decision brings you the most peace? If you're still unsure, then ask God and the angels to help you further. You can ask us which decision will help the most people. 
This is a wonderful basis upon which to make your choice. Sometimes the easiest route is the one that takes you further away from your divine purpose. So your indecision may come from fear of making waves or uncertainty about your future. In such cases, gradual change is warranted. Slowly introduce your new direction into your daily life and ease out of your old direction slowly. In that way, you won't frighten yourself. You will be more open to hearing God's guidance and you will feel our love. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful messages for you guys. I think this is actually one of the best readings that I've had so far for August, to be honest with you. All right. I hope this helps someone. I hope this makes sense. I hope this reaches whoever needs to hear these messages because I feel like it's definitely um, a message that needs to be heard. All right. Hit the like button, Aries. Hit the subscribe button if you have yet to subscribe to my channel. No, I'm sending you guys all love and light. Enjoy the rest of your summer. Take care, and I'll see you in September.